guys, Goku here, and welcome back to another install of Goku Reacts. Uh, we're back here, reacting to some more 14 horror stories in 2015 compilation, oh god. I decided to go into a different mansion, you know, to make it slightly less scary, but this place ain't that much different. It's only slightly, uh, better, and the sun's going down and stuff, and... Uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. I might alternate in between the mansions to do these reactions, so, you know, don't be surprised if you find me back at the old place, or this place, so, yeah, uh, we're doing this reaction, guys, I, I hope you enjoy it, if you can do me a favor and hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, share this video with all your friends, I, I really appreciate it, you know, okay, um, so, yeah, let's, let's continue where we left off. All right, here we go. Midnight office. Working the night shift always sucked. I work in an office building and would constantly do the night building. shift since it was the only time it would work out for me. I was just about always the only person on the floor I worked on, possibly in the whole building. Oh, oh really? There would always be a kind of oh, you got a nice girlfriend at least. Such a big building with most of the lights out and absolutely no one around. But on the upside, it was peaceful and less stressful, and I was able to get a lot of work. Kind of creepy from. though, you being there alone there was this one night, at though. night, nobody it was around, a night, around in two the in dark. The Come on, man! I was typing away on my keyboard. They ain't paying you enough. I heard a noise from outside my cubicle. It sounded like just a random crack from the walls or something. It's unusual in this building, but I didn't get too concerned about I it. I would be concerned. I, I, I would be away, very, very paranoid, but that's just me. This time. The sound of a computer starting up. It caught me off guard. I, I was sure nobody else was See, working the night See, that's shift. why you should always be I paranoid! I was sure to get a view over the cubicle walls. The glare of a computer screen in the dark was visible in a cubicle on the opposite side of the room. Uh, don't give away your position. Just I did turn it. stupid. Something no, I regret. No, don't you dare. I asked if there was anybody no, there you to stupid yell. You stupid son of a biscuit! Employee. But instead... I saw the glaring light of the computer monitor across the room turn if off. If you know no one's supposed to be at night, then why would you ask computer. that? I started getting nervous. I turned off the lamp and computer well, at least you did so that, that I wouldn't right. give away my position to whoever that was. I crouched down and tiptoed out across to a nearby cubicle. There was just utter silence. I feel like I'm watching a Matrix, I but for something to the scary for version. God knows how long. Ugh. But I eventually decided the coast was clear. I tiptoed down past the Run, Neil! Run, Neil! The near the exit door to the They're coming for you, Mr. Anderson. And that's when I realized that... My you can't tell me he doesn't look a little bit like Neil, guys. He has the hairstyle almost similar. I down behind the plants in the corner of the room, dressed in all oh, black. Oh, no. I felt my heart sink as I noticed him. But it didn't seem like he knew that okay, I noticed Okay, he doesn't him. notice you. She just... Just I act casual, the door. walk out the door, and did there sprint no for your life! The elevator and take a chance. I casually opened the door and closed it behind me, proceeding to walk hey, down the sprint. stairs. Sprint. Sprint. After making it down about two flights sprint. of stairs, I heard the door above me push open oh. aggressively, oh, no. followed by manic, echoing footsteps coming fast. Yep, down the stairs. time to go. I raced down the yep. stairs, running as fast as I could. Time to get the hell out of there. While the footsteps above me were getting louder, I finally made it to the first floor, raced through the lobby, and out like the Neil, you ain't got the power to kick butt. Whoever so, uh, was in there didn't follow yeah, me. Yeah, you did the right thing. I immediately called the cops, along with one of my bosses. My boss said no one was scheduled to work except for me. The cops scanned the place from top to bottom. There was no one in there. I couldn't help them out with any description other than he was wearing all black. I did continue to do the night shift for about a week really? after that, with my boss allowing me to lock all possible entrances to the floor, well, including the elevators. That's something. But I still wasn't comfortable yeah. with it. I wouldn't so be neither. Since I've been doing the day Yeah, shifts. to the day shift. It might be a boring cubicle job, but it's a populated boring cubicle job. The pizza guy. Oh, no, no, I'm no hungry now. Oh, no, this is gonna make me hungry and fear pizza. This I love four pizza! Years ago when I was still in high school. I was told to do my last delivery of my shift. I got in my car, which was a 1999 Camry. Perfect for delivering oh, pizzas. Didn't the other guy try to get a Toyota Camry? the address huh. on my phone. I live upstate in the country, so all pizza deliveries were long drives. All right, okay, that makes sense. I remember the sun was starting to set, so it was probably around 7 o'clock. I'd say Kinda after about 15 minutes of driving through the forest okay. and dirt roads, Not my GPS bad. said I had arrived. 
It was an old little cottage-like house made almost entirely of wood. I don't trust houses like that. It was like sitting that. all by itself in the middle of absolutely no way. nothing. Nowhere, yeah, I don't forest. trust that house. The lawn was completely unkept, as the grass was almost. And they're not even height. taking care of their lawn. I was used to this kind of thing, so I didn't think much of it. Okay, I took the pizza your to funeral, the front dude. Door. There was no doorbell, so I knocked loudly on the door. Within ten seconds, I heard the sound of footsteps hitting wood on the inside of the house. The footsteps made it to the door and stopped. I started to feel uneasy. That's when, if you start to feel uneasy, being you just go back to your car and, and tell your boss, hey, I got bad vibes from this house. It's the pizza guy, I called out. I heard a low, harsh sounding voice on the other side of the door, oh, telling no. me to bring the pizza out back. No, uh, the I hell I am! You either there. pay for your pizza so here, or we're bouncing! Are you sure? Don't you, are you sure, sir? Him, you get in your car and you bounce. The sound of footsteps. Yeah, but I bounce like you a basketball door, player. So the bounce that ball. Me. Get back in the car. I almost found myself walking back to my car, but I decided I didn't want any trouble with my boss. The last time I brought a pizza back, he gave me attitude. Your boss so I can go suck eggs. Don't place, go back there. A small house to the back. You are. It's a death sentence. A shed and a little patio back there. In the patio. There was a table with four chairs surrounding it. In one of the chairs facing away from me, I saw the head of somebody sitting in the seat. I began walking over and said, Excuse me, but the person didn't even move an that inch. That is not a good sign, sir. Excuse me, I said you again just louder. leave already. Then from behind me, I heard, ah! Over here. Nope. No. Nope. I turned around to see a man. I, I will, I will Hakai that son of a biscuit. Hakai! Uh, well, you can't smile. do anything because you're a human. Come over here. I want to show no. you something. No, 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 no. Run. Around and ran around the house in the opposite I, direction. Step, back to my car. For some reason, step, still holding Bloody the Mary. pizza. I got in my car, started it, and got away Why from there. Why did he have to add stuff? On my way back Ugh. to the pizzeria, I pulled over to the side of the road and called the police. Eventually, I was informed that there was no sign of anybody having been in that house for a long time. I quit my delivery job a few days yeah, after that. Yeah, screw you and your minimum I wage. No I'm out of here. happened to me had I gone up to that man. But to this day, I still wish I just turned my head to see who or what was sitting in that patio chair. Probably you dead. Here comes the ominous part. Yep, the ominous part. Oh, God, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. Can you stop showing it? It's kind of, kind of freaking me out. And I'm in this, I'm in this freaking mansion, freaking me out. Ugh. Ugh. Matthew. Oh boy. It was during a blizzard in Valley Stream. I was getting paid two hundred and fifty dollars to watch some couple's kid while they went away for the weekend. That's not too bad, actually. His name was Matthew. I would have did four hundred, but this took no. place on the first night, which was a Friday night. Matthew was already supposedly asleep while I was in the living room watching a movie. I got a knock at the door. Was that? And looked orange, at the clock. Orange clock? It was uh, close to midnight. There was no way I was yeah, opening Yeah, we don't open the door for strangers. Not even ten seconds later. Holy, oh, 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 uh, no! The sound of two or three men Jesus! Banging on the door. Yeah, I'd be scared. I would be shaking. I felt like if I were a human. About to stop. Obviously, I'm not a human, but I'd still I be shaking. Through the blinds, and there was somebody standing right what? on the other side of the window. Ah! God damn it, Seller! So jump scared! And after managing to get back on my feet, I ran to the kitchen phone first thing to call the police. They said because of the weather, it could take a while for an officer to get here. I was told to take the child and hide somewhere until an officer arrived. They wanted to keep me on the line, but I she wasn't so uninterested. In the moment and hung up. However, it wasn't until I ran through the living room that I realized the banging had stopped. Uh oh. I took a second peek through the living room window. Nobody was there now. That's the. St oh no! Oh no! Do you have a gun, a weapon, over. or something? My knees started to feel weak as I realized they had just broken the. Maybe the family should have gave you something like a weapon house. to protect yourself from this stuff. I had to run and get Matthew. I couldn't just leave without him. Of course, when I got upstairs, there was no time left to run back downstairs, as I already heard footsteps and laughter coming from downstairs. Damn it. I covered Matthew's mouth with my hand as I ran with him into his toy closet. A few minutes dragged onto what felt like half an hour as we sat there in the dark closet. Matthew uh -oh. began to squeal as Shut footsteps up, Matthew, on the you carpet are not gonna get me killed. his bedroom door. There was more than one person. They came inside. 
there weren't many places to hide in this room. I was actually reflecting that, on my whole that life. That moment when your life is flashing before, before your die. eyes. We heard the sound of a police siren outside, even from in the closet. And then I heard one of the men in the room mutter, Aw, oh, shit. I opened the door back up as I heard at least three pairs of footsteps hurriedly rushing down the stairs. You are so lucky. didn't get lucky. far as the police later found their footprints in the backyard, leading to our shed. There were five men in total, and they were all arrested. Wow. Uh, what? Just wow. <laughs> oh, man. What is there? Anthony. This is gonna be good. This happened when I was 15 years old. My best friend Anthony wanted me to come over for the night, since his parents would be gone all weekend. Alright. I rode my bike over and put it in his backyard before letting myself in through his back nice. door. Nice. Did you, did you close it? He played basically every oh, video look, game he had, nice from FIFA Easter all there. the way to Call of Duty, with popcorn and Oh, this junk takes me back to the good old days with me and floor. my buddies. As the night me progressed, we moved from video games like to watching half a movie and getting bored, <laughs> to doing prank calls at close to 10 o'clock. Anthony made a few calls to different pizza places. When it was my turn, I just dialed a few random numbers in hopes to get someone at their house. On, say, my fourth attempt, I finally reached somebody. A guy with a deep and rough voice picked up, answering with a yeah instead of a hello. You know that's not gonna go well. Anthony's laughing in the background made me stumble with my words mid-sentence, ultimately cracking up into laughter. <laughs> I had never done a prank call, so I sucked it at it. Happens to the best of us. Happens to the best of us. The guy on the other end was silent. This I guy is giving me weird vibes. And tried to continue with the call. It went something like this. Uh, sir, would it be alright if I borrowed one of the wheels from your car? What's your name, kid? My name is Bob. Really? You sure it's not Anthony? The hell? It hit me like a brick. I looked up at Anthony, whose face was noticeably full of fear. Uh do you have color ID? I hung up the phone, not wanting to be on the line with whoever that was for another second. Anthony, who the hell was that? I asked him. I, I don't know, he told me. Does your color ID info display your name or something? No, it shows my dad's name. Maybe an old acquaintance of your father's? I don't know! I on the computer and did some research, trying to figure out how it was possible to get someone's name through their phone number. It didn't make Hacker? sense how he could get Anthony's name so He quickly. had them seen Anthony around at some at point. Maybe he's a stalker. Of personal information you know? sharing websites. It's possible. We ended up asking a question on Yahoo Answers, since no one had a similar experience. The question turned up no answers. I suggested he call his dad, but he said he wasn't supposed to have anybody over for the weekend, so he didn't You might to have to call the main... We planned on sleeping creepy. in the living room, so we just resumed watching the movie that we hadn't finished from earlier. Right after the phone call had left my mind, me and Anthony looked at each other when we heard his front storm door opening. Oh no, 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 and turned to look at me. Oh boy! Hello, no, nope, no. Nope. Practically threw the blinds back into place. Me and Anthony hid in the kitchen, listening for any more noises. We heard the sound of the gate to the backyard opening. As Did it was please right tell me locked the, the door when you window. came through? God damn it! I said. I forgot to shut the back you door. You son of a biscuit! Anthony urged me to run and shut it. I, I made told it to the hallway to leading to his back door. door and froze. There was a silhouette oh, no. standing outside the back door. Oh. I don't think he noticed oh, no. He was surely looking into the house. He opened the door and stepped inside. He's like the hash slinging slasher. Just, just run. He ain't looking to make burgers. Follow me upstairs. <laughs> we made it to his room as quietly as possible, pulling the door shut to avoid making any noise. We crawled under his bed. He had cloth covering the bottom of his bed, so you couldn't see anything under it unless you actually moved the cloth. The doors downstairs all opened, each one getting closer to the stairs. Oh, man. Thumps finally began up the stairs, and he was right outside the door oh, now. No. The door to the room opened. Be quiet, be quiet. You won't. I could hear Anthony's breathing. Anthony, it was shut too loud. up, Anthony. You're acting like Matthew. Footsteps moved over to the closet, and then the closet opened. 
I could hear the coat hangers being slid around as the fabric of the jackets and coats rubbed against each other. Footsteps moved over to the bed and stopped. I felt like my heart was about to explode out of my chest. Stop! My kid's breathing was too loud. I had to cover his mouth with my hand. Nothing but silence in the room now. He has to know you're there. We laid still for so long. I almost thought he wasn't even in the room no, anymore. No, no, if you don't hear no footsteps, he's still in that room. I moved my hand he's away still from in that room, guys. mouth and whispered in his uh -huh. ear, You think we can make a run for him? Talk, eh? He was about to answer when the most disturbing, memory-haunting scream oh, I'd no. ever heard filled my ears as Anthony was seemingly dragged out from ah! under the ah! floor. I crawled out and saw him struggling with the man. I desperately Grab looked something. around for anything to use Grab as a something. weapon. I settled with the screwdriver sitting on his nightstand. Fair enough! I hurried over to the man Come and drove the screwdriver trick! into his back. He let go of Anthony as he let out a scream of agony, giving us time now to get, get the, the hell out of there! Running Let this be a lesson, Anthony. Don't, whatever somebody's in the, the, somebody the room, room, don't breathe so hard. Matter of fact, the lesson is don't prank call nobody. I don't know what the lesson the is. Woods and took cover behind a bush, watching the house. The back door opened as the man stepped outside, looking around the backyard. He then looked out to the woods. I felt his eyes pass me as he scanned through the tree line. It seemed that it was too dark for him to see us. Then. He turned his head back in our direction. Oh, no. I ducked behind the bush. Joe, he's coming. What? Dude, get up, we gotta run. He was right. The man was approaching us. Time to go! How could he have seen Who knows? Us? Who cares? Just get out of there! Ran through the woods with the leaves crunching under us, giving there away our position. When Anthony tripped over God something, damn it, Anthony! Uh, Anthony has become a liability! Not even 20 seconds later, oncoming footsteps from the direction we were running from came fast. Oh boy. They slowed down only two trees away from us as we lay face down in the leaves. Moments later, the footsteps take off in another direction. We waited until we could no longer hear them okay. and took off back in the direction okay, of the house. Back to the house. While running, over the sound of leaves crushing and my heavy breathing, I could swear I heard leaves crushing Book from it. behind Book us. it! Back to the house! We made it and back close the, the goddamn door! Place. Lock it! And this time, remembering to shut the back door. We were now able to call the police. Anthony stayed on the line with them, while I patrolled the back windows, making sure nobody was out there. It was so dark, though, I couldn't see anything. So I did something that seemed stupid well, today. I turned God, on his back door lights, are you and immediately so in the stupid? distance, over by the woods, I saw him, standing in front of a big tree. He turned off back into the woods and disappeared out of sight. That was the last time me or Anthony ever saw him. Good. I would be lying if I told you we heard the occasional knocks at our windows or something cliche. No, that was it. Five years have passed and nothing has happened. Do I wonder if it was somehow linked to the prank call? Maybe. Does it make sense? Not really. But yeah. This was the story of how me and my still best friend Anthony almost died during a break-in. The lesson is, have a weapon. Yeah. Oh, guys, that was the video. I gotta tell you, man, this, these videos are not doing good for my heart, I tell you. They really get the blood pumping, you know? But yeah, I, I hope you all truly enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, I, if you did... Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you all next time, alright? Take care of yourselves. Bye! Oh.